Have you ever wanted to see invisible particles zooming through the air? Well, get ready, because we're about to dive into the amazing world of the cloud chamber. A cloud chamber is like a window into the tiniest building blocks of the universe. It's a special box where the inside is filled with cold air containing vapor, usually alcohol, that is just about to condense into liquid form. When a tiny particle traveling from space, or even from the rocks in your backyard, zips through the chamber at speeds close to the speed of light, it leaves behind a little white trail in the chamber, like a jet flying across the sky. So how did we build a cloud chamber to be able to see these invisible particles? Buckle up. It's science and fun all rolled into one. And remember, make sure you have an adult to help you. First, we need about 10 pounds of dry ice. This stuff is super cold, being around minus 100 Fahrenheit or nearly minus 80 Celsius, so you always need gloves to handle it safely. Next, we need a fish tank to contain the vapor in the cloud chamber. Since we didn't just have a fish tank laying around, we built our own using plexiglass. It can easily be found at most hardware stores. The pieces were carefully glued together using a medicinal syringe filled with special acrylic glue called Weldon. And careful, ours popped open under pressure when it was first opened. After the glue dried, silicone glue was added to the corners for extra sealing. Then, around the edges, double layers of door weather stripping were added to make sure no vapor could escape. This finished tank was 10 inches wide, 14 inches long, and 12 inches tall. A perfect size for a home cloud chamber. Now we needed a way to keep things really cold. So we built an insulated box for the dry ice. You could use a plastic bin or even a sturdy cardboard box. But we used a wooden box lined with foam board insulation. We added two inch spacers made from either wood or metal to help keep the dry ice level. Then we picked up a 16 gauge steel plate from the hardware store and cut it to fit the box. After that, we painted the plate matte black so the glowing particle trails would be easier to see. And just for fun, we hot glued a Lego minifigure in the center of the plate. He was a sneaky looking crook with a tiny red crowbar. What could go wrong? Now comes a crucial part for creating a cloud chamber, the mop pad. We used a cotton mop. At first, we cut it into pieces and wrapped it around the tank edges, but it didn't stay in place very well. So we got clever. We picked up a plastic light louver from the hardware store, cut it to fit snugly inside the tank. And attached it using silicone suction cups and a few zip ties. Regular PVC suction cups didn't work well in strong alcohol, but silicone ones did. This mop pad holds the alcohol vapor, which is the secret ingredient for creating particle trails. We used 99% isopropyl alcohol, also from the hardware store. It's normally used for cleaning and disinfecting. We soaked the mop with about 700 milliliters and it absorbed the alcohol really well. Then we cleaned the inside of the tank glass with Windex. That step is super important. It helps you see the trails clearly later on. We placed the dry ice in our insulated box and used a knife to trim it so our steel plate sat just right on the spacers. As the metal touched the ice, it made a strange sound, like it was singing from the cold. We gently flipped the tank upside down and placed it on top of the freezing metal sheet. Then we cleaned the glass one last time and added an insulated cover on top. 
Now lights are out. Now we grabbed a strong flashlight, 3000 lumens or more. One is great, but having two or three is even better in case the battery runs out. We aimed the light at the bottom of the tank and waited. Within just a few minutes, the alcohol started to evaporate and fill the chamber with mist. Close to the bottom, tiny trails began to appear, dancing through the mist like invisible comets. So what are these trails? Near the bottom of the cloud chamber, the air is very cold and the alcohol vapor is in a special state called supersaturation. This means it wants to turn into liquid, but it can't because there's nothing for it to stick to. Normally, condensation needs a tiny surface like dust or a rough spot, which scientists call nucleation sites. When fast, high-energy particles like alpha, beta, or muons fly through the chamber, they knock electrons off nearby atoms, creating ions. These ions act like tiny seeds that the alcohol vapor can grab onto and form droplets. The result is a visible white trail, which shows the path the particle took through the chamber. Alpha particles, which are essentially a helium atom's nucleus, are heavy and strongly charged so they leave short, thick lines. Beta particles, which are electrons or positrons, are faster and lighter. Their trails are long and wiggly. Muons that are like heavy electrons are heavy and fast. They leave long and thin trails. Gamma rays can also be observed. Though you can't see them directly, sometimes they bump into atoms and knock out an electron that does leave a trail. Where do these particles come from? Some are from outer space, called cosmic rays. Others come from radioactive materials in rocks, or even from bananas. And while none of them are dangerous in a tiny cloud chamber, they do move incredibly fast, some of them close to the speed of light. But then something truly amazing happened. Right where we glued the Lego crook, something strange started to glow. From the tip of his tiny red crowbar, a fountain of sparkly mist began to rise into the air like a tiny magic geyser of invisible energy. It floated up, then gently drifted back down like glowing dust. No special effects, no tricks, just pure science magic. And it went on for minutes. Was the crook casting spells? Well, what was most likely happening is the piece of dust that can be seen on the crowbar is acting as a nucleation site for the vapor that is causing it to condense and fall to the bottom. A bit of an anticlimax, but still interesting to watch. Or was it? Got a better theory? Or just want to guess what kind of magic was happening? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Watching those particles zoom and twist through the mist is like watching space fireworks right in your own science lab. So if you're ever curious about the universe, just remember, some of its most amazing secrets are flying all around you. You just need the right tools to see them. Building a cloud chamber is like opening a window into a hidden world. It's where science and imagination come together. The next day, the dry ice was still there, and the Lego crook stood proudly in a layer of frosty snow covering the metal plate. Our box was so well insulated, it kept everything freezing overnight. And the crook? He definitely had a story to tell. He had just become part of real science history.